We really believe that the national trend for education uh, is moving away from the traditional talking head, but much more into problem-based uh, learning. We came up with the term EXCEED. It really is a focus on what's called STEM, science, technology, engineering, mathematics, which is a push across this country, recognizing that the new generation of students, if they don't understand those four concepts, they will not be able to survive and compete in today's marketplace. A sense of how to instill excitement within the students is something that all teachers are needing help with. Loma Linda University started EXCEED to empower K-12 teachers to strengthen STEM in Adventist education. This past June, we had our second annual EXCEED conference where about 50 teachers came from all over North America to get new ideas on how to strengthen STEM education, gain resources, as well as to network and collaborate and develop mission-focused learning. This program here is showing me that Every time I step into a classroom, that I'm gearing it to integrated STEM learning. This is our calling. We can't give up on any kid out there, okay? And we've got to take all that math and science and everything that kids don't want to use, or even English, and we've got to infuse them some kind of love for it, some kind of opportunity, some kind of reason for doing it. And she's 32, yeah. probably about 34 <laughs> feet. So, we can do science with this. We can do technology. Can we do math? Oh, yeah. Sure, we did math. Lego Robotics relates to engineering, yes. The whole theme here is also designed to help us work on solving problems. And challenges that have gone in before and teams that have come up with suggestions are actually being used in industry today. I can get a lot of good ideas for integrating the curriculum with the fun stuff so that students love science that they are learning but they don't even really realize it because they're having so much fun. What we have right here for each of you are new iPad 3s. Each of you have a resource that can be used to create educational material and share it with others. That's been huge, teaching us how to use that in our classrooms and implement some software that they're giving us access to that I wouldn't have otherwise had access to. These are the kinds of opportunities that get us as teachers out of our ruts. They've shown us how to do easy and cheap, simple things to make science fun and interesting for them and still not have to spend tons of money because then you can do it more often. I'm going to demonstrate static electricity using a 2 by 4 in my comb. And I'm moving with the static electricity from putting my comb through my hair twice. I'm trying to find the tendon on this chicken foot so that all the rest of the toes will curl. So you can talk periosteum, ligaments, meniscus, ligaments, all this sort of stuff, boring, or you can hand them each a steer leg cut in half lengthwise. What EXCEED in the first two sessions has succeeded in doing is not just giving technical skills, and we believe we did that, but it's a social capital. It's a sense of, I'm not by myself. I'm in this together. I myself, I came out of a little two-room church school in northern Idaho with 25 students and two teachers. And there's still schools like that scattered across this country. And they are part of the system just as much as Loma Linda. I just graduated from Wachita Hills College with my degree in elementary education and I just recently was hired in Arkansas. I'm going to be the first teacher there. This is going to be a very small school starting off. Uh, it's going to be one room school, grades one through eight. Um, it's in a more rural community. It's exciting to help something start that's brand new. It's also a little scary to think about the responsibility I have. and but I'm very thankful for all the support and help. So our goal is to have the entire system feel like it's working together to train our young people. I was contacted by a grade one teacher and said, my first graders are studying sea turtles. Um, could we possibly um, Skype you and talk to you by Skype? We got on Skype and I have a, I have a little um, turtle there and you know, I have my satellite tag and some flipper tags. And I would be really excited if, um, if we could do something like that together. 
we are now going to create a network using our Exceed portal so that throughout the year we can collaborate with Adventist educators throughout the North American division so that we can share ideas. We will start developing an ongoing relationship with you all through the school year so that your students will say, oh my goodness, there's Andrews connected, there's Loma Linda connected, there's Union connected, there's Walla Walla connected, and they will, their parents will start picking up the idea that this isn't, you know, if I go back to my little school in Idaho, this isn't Big Meadow Church School, this is Adventist education, all bringing their energy to focus on little old Big Meadow Church School. We're not just educating or learning for information's sake. We are learning because there's a mission in the world. Uh, and I think that's critically important. I like to talk about the difference between knowledge and wisdom. Education can impart knowledge, but only experiences can give wisdom. And I believe that's what we're trying to do. Mission-focused learning is something that we believe uh, to be Christ-centered. Where their professions are not just the end goal but their professions become a ministry, become a calling in the service of others. I love being an Adventist teacher. Um, it allows me to integrate faith and learning, and that is the biggest thing because I love working with God and Him working with me through the Holy Spirit so I can inspire my students. We're going back with a whole new mindset of how we're going to be approaching science and math and everything. I feel challenged and invigorated. I'm ready to go back to my classroom and try some new things out. This is just incredible. We are just really blown out of the water with what we have and what we have access to and what we can do. I'm ready to just start the school year and just move.